Hello, 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 hello from San Giovanni Rotondo. Hello from San Giovanni Rotondo. I am Brady White, your host. Welcome. I hope that you will enjoy the episodes I have chosen. So, let us sit back, relax, and enjoy. Well, people, again, no coincidences with Padre Pio. This morning, a beautiful day in San Giovanni Rotondo. I go to the early mass at the tomb at the Church of St. Pio. And I see two young ladies. I thought they were sisters. Um, but during the Mass, I, they were to the side of me, and so I could see their, their shoes, their sneakers. And when I saw that, I thought, oh, they're American, or they're, they're from America or something. And uh, so later, I um, was up touching the tomb, asking for Padre Pio's uh, help for some people, and um, I noticed the girls again. And so when we exited, I stopped, asked, uh, are you American? Do you speak English? And they said, oh, they live in America. And anyway, here they are, and they brought their, their family. Uh, first, let me introduce the two that I know the names in my head. The, the, now, these are who I thought the two sisters were, but it is mother and daughter. And a little bit of a guess for you. I don't know if you can tell who the mother and who the daughter is. But anyway, um, the lady with the uh, checked the diamond uh, sweater there, she is Juliana. She is the mother. And her daughter is, oh, I'm sorry, um, the mother is Julia. And the daughter, uh, with the black, uh, is Juliana. Now, please introduce the rest of your family, please. With a loud voice, please. This is Percy, my husband. Percy. Hello. Well, you are blessed, huh? Yes. You're blessed with a beautiful family. And who is this beautiful uh, baby and the this big is, girl? This is Sophia. Oh, Sophia. My sister, Denise. Oh, and Denise, OK. And this, again, another beautiful baby. This is Inez. I'm sorry? Inez. 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 And I'm your name? Laura. 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 And? And I'm Percy. A Percy. And is it a Percy Jr.? I'm the third, actually. You're the third? Oh, OK. And Percy, you and your sister went to RISD, is that oh, correct? My wife, my wife. Oh, you and your and Laura, wife? Yeah, we both went to RISD. Is that where you met? Yes, we met there. Oh, so that was kind of a gift being in Providence, Rhode yes. Island yes. at RISD. Yes. Um, you went, obviously, for a study of art. Anything specialized uh, that you do? Uh, painting. You do paintings? Yeah, I'm a painter, yeah. Ah, have you had the good fortune of exhibiting yet? Yes, yes. I had a show last, last fall. Did you? That was my first solo show in the gallery, so that was, that was great. The gallery in San Francisco, yes. maybe? Yes, yes. Oh, terrific. Yes. Um, and when you sign the, the painting, can you tell me your signature? What is, how are you known? I, I sign usually in the back. Um, and how see. do you sign? How are you known? Are you known as Picasso? Are you known Percy as? Percy Cannon. Percy? Percy Cannon. Cannon, Percy Cannon. OK, Percy, very, very good. Well, let's get back here, because these are the talkers, I think, right? These two. Yeah. All of them are, but I mean, I know. Um, Juliana, when we first met, um, I could see you were strongly devoted to Padre Pio. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about uh, the first time you heard the name of Padre Pio? I learned to love Padre Pio through Maria Esperanza, my spiritual mother, because she was a spiritual uh, child of Padre Pio. And uh, she met him when she lived in Rome, newly wed with uh, Senor Gio Bianchini. Maria Esperanza is a servant of God nowadays. She was uh, made a servant of God in January 31st, 2010. And it is through her that I learned to love very much Padre Pio. So this is really not that many years ago that you know the name Padre Pio, correct? Uh, I knew him. I really heard you about him name? while I was living in Peru. Oh, OK. Did but you hear through your grandma, your grandfather, you, or just through, through the church? Friends, through, through the friends. church, through prayer groups. Uh, many people devoted to Padre Pio in Lima, Peru. In Lima, Peru, many uh, people. Uh, now, this morning, you spoke to the uh, superior of the shrine here, of, of the convento, Padre Calo, and he was excited when he, you said uh, Lima, Peru. He got all excited. So tell me what he was saying. Were you speaking about things that were happening there? or? 
Well, Lima, Peru is a well, it's a Catholic country, and uh, many saints. Uh, we uh, we have uh, Saint Martin de Porres, Saint Rose of Lima. Oh, Saint Rose of Lima, yes, uh, very strong devotion up there, yes. Yes, San Juan Macias. So we learn to love the saints, and uh, through those saints, you know other saints too, and that's how we. I um, got to know Padre Pio, but I learned to love him through Maria Esperanza. Ah, now uh, speaking about Maria. Uh, are you here in Italy spreading the word? You're here for uh, a visit to uh, San Giovanni Rotondo. The reason you are here in Italy? We're here as a family, uh, giving thanks for all the uh, graces we have received from Padre, P from Padre Pio, from uh, Santa Rita de Casha, St. Francis of Assisi. So we're Did here you visit Assisi? Yes, we've been in Assisi. We uh, are here as a family. Um, on a mixture of a pilgrimage, uh, this is the country of wine too. My husband uh, likes uh, to know about good, good wine. So it's a mixture of uh, uh, getting to travel as a family, getting to worship, getting to, we're gonna visit Rome after this. Um, we are presenting our grandchildren and the future grandchildren that, uh, that God are gonna grant us. So we're consecrating the children, the womb of my daughter and mother-in-law. And as for a good husband for my daughter, Julie. Oh, always the mother. I said that to uh, Julie, <laughs> Juliana earlier. My friend, Percy, uh, you are a very blessed man. You have a lovely family. You have uh, even grandchildren. You look very young, uh, just like your wife. I, I would think that you are a 30-year-old person. But uh, Percy, how did you meet um, your wife? Are you, are you American by chance? Uh, Technically, yes. I'm a, a, we became American citizens uh, last year. Oh, okay. I was born and, and raised in Peru as well. Oh, you were. Yeah. I thought you, your English is so clear, so very American. You know, very clear American <laughs> English. Thank so, you. Um, many years, I guess, in America for you at this uh, point. On and off, yes. On and yeah. off. Yes, yes. Uh, so you met in Peru. Uh, did you? Were you devoted? Were you religious people all your life? Were you Catholics from the beginning? Yes, yes, we were. We were. Uh, uh, our parents, uh, both sets of parents, were. were were Catholic, and uh, so we were raised Catholic. We went to Catholic grade schools and oh. high schools. Well. Oh, you did? Oh, yes. okay. Yeah, and in separate ones, but, but we, we did. But you did. And so the family is really uh, that expression of the family that prays together, stays together. Correct. Yes. It works well with you. Correct. Do you know that expression? Do you know the name of uh, Father Peyton? He is the man who, uh, he was an Irish priest, but he came to America and he, he was very sick. He prayed to the Blessed Mother and promised that if um, you know he was cured, that he would spread her devotion of the Rosary, and he has become very, very um, well known. Uh, he, he was uh, along with Fulton Sheen. Do you know that name? Yes. 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 Okay. Very, very good. Mm -hmm. Now, where's Juliana? I'm here. Oh, Juliana, can we speak with you? Uh, so, you also, I mean, uh, have that devotion. It just comes from uh, being raised in a family of faith. Yes. And. Uh, and as young people, I mean, uh, you know, your brother and your sister, your sister-in-law, you know, were in Providence, uh, Rhode Island. Uh, they're a coincidence just in itself, you know, the idea that I'm from Rhode Island by chance. But, um, you know, in America and where you live, for young people today, very difficult between what the media puts in front of them, the temptations, the, uh, it is very difficult, I think, for a young person to center in on the true meaning of life and to have faith. Uh, as a young person yourself, I mean, you're a young adult, but as a young person, do you see more uh, of the young coming to the church slowly, or do you see the devastation that the media does to uh, young people? Yeah, I think it's tough, but I think that it's not impossible to, to lead a life of faith, and I think surrounding yourself with, with good people good friends and you know family and having a good foundation and what is important way, is know? what so important. I think as parents it's a big responsibility to instill that in in your children as my brother and sister and their family are finding out you know it's, it starts starts early and I think that's very important so that once you do go out there in the world you're better prepared well I know and, and it's tough I mean when we see some of these people who you know only by the gift, uh, gift of uh, God have they become either fame or wealthy or whatever. But yet uh, they think at that point now it's them who makes this happen. They forget where it comes from, you know. Yeah. Um, 
I love that your mother wants another. She, she's not happy with enough uh, uh, two grandchildren. Now she wants uh, more, and she wants you married. But anyway, I mean, that's just the way it is. Um, how many days will you spend here in San Giovanni Rotondo? Just since yesterday until today. So really, a special trip to Padre Pio. Yes, yes. a long trek. We drove six and a half hours to get here. Oh, well then it is long. I hope, you, yeah. I hope that included stops at the it auto did. grill. It did, it did. Because <laughs> I think it's normally about a four hour, maybe four and a half, you know, yeah. uh, coming down, so. Uh, yeah, we came from, from uh, Tuscany. We stopped oh, in Cascia, and then we drove down the coast. Did you stop in Florence at all? Yes. Oh, yes. You did, okay. Oh, yes. yes, we did. Yes. yes. Okay. Um, now, when I say Florence, just before we end, uh, for the artist, um, have you been to Florence? Yes. yes. Uh, young, uh, today, I mean, the uh, first time. The, the first time. time really. Okay, so Florence, you know, to me is really the most beautiful city in the world as far as uh, artistic uh, goes. Yes. Uh, and speaking about artistic, here he is. There's uh, Padre Ermelindo. He is the uh, director of the English office. And so with his entrance, a perfect timing, he's meeting uh, the beautiful family here. And he greets the little children. But I say to you, Florence is the place for artists. Yes. I want to say thank you to all of you, and uh, we wish you all the best, all God's blessings. True privilege to talk with you, and may Padre Pio continue to watch over, protect, and guide you and your family and loved ones. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you. God bless you. God bless you. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Let us not forget our brothers and sisters during this time. Let us pray now the prayer that Padre Pio loved so very much, the Hail Mary. Let us remember as we offer this Hail Mary for all of you who are watching, hello from San Giovanni Rotundo, for those you are thinking of, for those that are close in your heart, for those who are alone and have no one to remember them, for those who are involved in disasters and war throughout the world, for the unborn, for peace in this world, for the Holy Father, for his intentions, for all the priests and clergy, religious and missionaries, that they may have the strength to continue God's work. For all our family, our friends, and our enemies, for all those who are suffering in the homes, the hospitals, and the jails, for all those who have died, our loved ones, for all the souls in purgatory, that they may rest in peace. For all your intentions, please join me in the Hail Mary. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death, amen. Our Lady of Grace, Pray for us. St. Pio, pray for us. Now remember, you can email us at PadrePioInfo at AOL.com. Again, PadrePioInfo at AOL.com. Until next time, goodbye, goodbye. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Let us not forget our brothers and sisters during this time. Let us pray now the prayer that Padre Pio loved so very much, the Hail Mary. Let us remember as we offer this Hail Mary for all of you who are watching, hello from San Giovanni Rotundo, for those you are thinking of, for those that are close in your heart, for those who are alone and have no one to remember them, 
for those who are involved in disasters and war throughout the world, for the unborn, for peace in this world, for the Holy Father, for his intentions, for all the priests and clergy, religious and missionaries, that they may have the strength to continue God's work. For all our family, our friends, and our enemies, for all those who are suffering in the homes, the hospitals, and the jails, for all those who have died, our loved ones, for all the souls in purgatory, that they may rest in peace. For all your intentions, please join me in the Hail Mary. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Our Lady of Grace, pray for us. St. Pio, pray for us. Now remember, you can email us at PadrePioInfo at AOL.com. Again, Padre Pio Info at AOL.com. Until next time, goodbye, goodbye.